A good movie is like a storm. The beginning requires preparation. The middle encapsulates tension. And the end provides relief. As a Floridian, I know all too well the fear that comes from hurricanes. But I also acknowledge that it's in the face of fear where we realize our own mortality. There's something about facing winds that could topple a house that reminds us to spend time with our family. My earliest hurricane memory came to the form of my parents laughing at me for renaming Hurricane Wilma to Hurricane Whale Wash in 2005. Now that I'm older, I view the burden of a storm in a different way. From the lens of a chilled glass. I hate the aftermath and the fear, but I appreciate what it can do for my sobriety. When watching a natural disaster flick, the point is to see the natural disasters. This is something the day after tomorrow and Geostorm cannot agree on. Where the day after tomorrow creates tension by throwing harrowing situations at relatable characters, Geostorm tosses tsunamis in the Middle East with no context. Despite being released 13 years apart and having nearly identical budgets of $125 million and $120 million, their results could not be more different. Both have their fair share of internal family conflicts, but in Geostorm, the story suffers because of the lack of development. The day after tomorrow makes it clear that when you're not in the eye of the storm, temperatures drop rapidly every second until you turn into a snow cone. In Geostorm, a magma earthquake will boil an egg in Tokyo for the simple reason that it's been 15 minutes and nothing exciting has happened. There is no preparation or relief that comes from the storms in Geostorm. Instead of a story about the effects of a disaster, the story is about characters who never face them. There is no tension in a storm if it doesn't affect the ones that you care about. While watching The Day After Tomorrow, I'm genuinely nervous for the characters. This is because their actions are proven to have consequences. You go outside, you die. Good storytelling allows the audience to make inferences from the subtext of the scene. Watching Jack Hall stumble upon the frozen bodies in the ice actually has an effect because the audience saw those characters make that choice. On the other hand, in Geostorm, if a character is launched halfway across a space station without a harness, he's totally fine. Nothing bad happens to him because there are no consequences. Killing off a bunch of politicians in a democratic convention holds no weight because it's just shrugged off. Not to mention it's probably good for the economy, but the fact is that the fear doesn't come from a perceived notion that the entire northern hemisphere is going to drop to sub-zero temperatures like in the day after tomorrow. Instead, lightning just happens 50 times a second because it looks cool. Tornado. Zap. Blizzard. Zap. Geostorm spends an hour and a half hyping up the self-titled cataclysmic world-ending event only to give the audience blue balls with one second left on the timer. The five total on-screen minutes of destruction are all spent in random cities with random characters and do nothing aside from waste the writing budget on special effects brought to you by Windows 95. Theory is that the production team blew their load on the magma scene in the first 15 minutes of the film and had no budget for the actual Geostorm. I use that term loosely. There is no fucking Geostorm. What pisses me off the most is that in the advertising for this movie, there is a screenshot of the dad holding his daughter up in front of a massive wave crashing down on the city. Yet in the movie, that literally never happens. Those two are never in that situation. The dad is in space for 90% of the runtime, and the daughter doesn't exist aside from the intro and the conclusion. There seems to be a running theme of missed opportunity. I signed up for a natural disaster movie, not designated tornado survivor. At the end of the day, I want to fear storms, not corrupt politicians. The only thing that got me through Geostorm was a drink, which is now known as the Geostorm. This sucks. Yeah, seriously, this is so boring. You know what? I can't do this for another second. You know, why'd you make us do this in the first place? I don't know. I was trying to relive a moment. <laughs>